What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to droidlife.com. Since we got the fantastic news today that the Android 2.1 OTA update will be coming from Verizon starting Thursday at noon Eastern, I'm sure a lot of you are trying to figure out how to get rid of cyanogen and get back to stock. So um, we're going to whip through a quick tutorial and show you how to do it. Um, so anyway, this is basically what we do. Um, first thing you need to do is go ahead and install the DM updater. So droid mod updater. Open that thing up and it should ask you immediately for requests. So just go ahead and hit remember and allow. And then it says, looks like you're rooted, yada, yada, yada. Just skip that if you get that option. Next thing it's going to do is download SP recovery. So let it go ahead and do that. And once it's done doing that, it should ask you to flash that on there. So basically it's going to overwrite the clockwork mod recovery, which is cyanogen or Kush's special uh, uh, flash recovery. And there it goes. Your recovery image needs to be updated. Continuing will void your warranty. Okay. So this is where we're installing SP recovery. So go ahead and say, I understand and flash the recovery image. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Now your SP recovery is on there. And so from there, what we're going to do, instead of going in and installing the actual droid mod 1.0, go ahead and just power off your device and go power off all the way and we are going to boot into recovery and then we're going to do a couple things from there so powers off go ahead and boot into recovery which we all know is hold x and then hold the power button at the same time when the phone comes on let go of power keep holding on x okay so we're looking to boot into sp recovery now and we'll know it's correct if we get that little droid guy and sure enough we do okay so from here, what we're going to do is go down to, we're going to wipe data, go all the way down, yes, wipe data, so let that roll through there, and it shouldn't take too long, but we'll take a few seconds, okay, that's done, we're going to go ahead and wipe cache, cache should be even quicker, Okay, that's done. Now we are going to go down here and go backup restore. Actually, we're going to go to install. Sorry about that. And choose ROM from SD card. And now I'm going to go ahead and install Droid Mod. Sorry about that. So if you didn't see that, I went to install instead and we went to Droid Mod. We're going to install that. And then from there, we're going to go back to um, use, use Droid Mod actually to go back to stock. So. Sorry about that, hopefully that wasn't too confusing. I went to install instead of restore. Okay, I went to install and then I went to choose ROM from SD card. Sorry, I whipped through those. And now it's gonna walk us through all those steps, which you guys have seen before, which is to install all of those, you know, 2.1 applications and stuff like that. So once it gets to that, we will whip through those. Okay, anyway. So now we're going to whip through this and just install Droid Mod. So if you're using 2.1, no, not. I'm going to do Windows. Maps are fine. I'm just going to go ahead and install everything on here except FLAC. Just, oops. Except FLAC. Don't really care. F oops. Finish. Yes. Yes. Finish. Let those go ahead and load now. <clears throat> and go once you get to this stage now hit the power key to get all the way back to the main one and reboot system now go ahead and click on that and let it reboot and we should be booted into droid mod 1.0 so we'll still have root access and all that stuff okay so it's telling us that droid mod is in fact installed and rolling hopefully we don't get stuck here and hopefully it doesn't just continue to boot here that would be unfortunate if for some reason you do get stuck at this screen don't be scared to uh, do a battery pull 
for whatever reason, sometimes we get stuck at boot screens and a simple battery pull, toss that thing back in, we'll get you past it for whatever reason. Okay, there's one little flash, a little vibrate. That's always a good, a good sound. Okay, so obviously since we did wipe data and cache, we are going to have to sign back in. Now, obviously this is gonna wipe all of your data. So you're already gonna to have to basically start back over. There's probably a way to do this. Um, slide that next. There's probably a way to do this without losing everything, but this is the way that I know how to do it to get you back. Okay, so should be a droid mod in our five screens, and sure enough we are, so. Actually, I want to check one thing. Oh, okay. And so now we can go ahead and that's interesting. We actually have to install the DM updater again. And I don't have Astro on here, unfortunately. So we got to install that real quick. Astro, okay. Settings, applications, unknown sources, okay. Um, I'm installing Astro because I'm gonna install the DM updater APK because I actually have it on my SD card. And the only way I can access that is using a go. So it is in my downloads folder. DM updater, open app manager, install, install, open, allow, check again, that's fine. Oh, it's gonna ask to flash recovery again. I have no idea why. Since it should already be installed and we already have this file downloaded, it's one. All right, recovery image has been downloaded didn't ask us to flash it because we already have it flashed on there so that was sort of a waste of time so now we should be able to go ahead and choose stock 2.0.1 no root and once we choose that should prompt us one more time and it says we are ready to flash the ROM so go ahead and hit flash ROM And it should reboot your phone. And once we load back up, we should be good. Should be stock, no root, ready to receive OTA update. And there we go. We are officially back to stock. And we are missing voice search up there, as you can see. So if we go into settings, applications, manage apps, and we scroll down and look for this right here, search. tap on that, uninstall, hit OK, finish it, bam. Reboot your phone and you will be all back to stock with no root. As you can see, I got I got no super user ninja on there and we are officially back to stock. I can show you one other thing here. App oops, sorry. We're going to do about. And there you go. Droid 2.0.1 build ESD 56. Okay, any comments, questions, feel free to drop them at the blog, droid-life.com. We're out, peace.